Hi, this is a hot day in July and today both Ken and I are trying out new bikes, new bikes at least in the forest. So there's Ken's Privateer E161 and my white E160 RSX. Sorry about the uh, clicking on this uh, video, I forgot to stash the uh, leash that I've got on my GoPro, so it's hitting the side of the GoPro. Later on there's uh, more noise than my saddle which came. Okay. So our first climb here, this one is uh, quite steep, obviously the GoPro doesn't uh, really give you a full indication of how steep it is, and uh, a bit tricky at the top, you've got to weave your way through. Uh, a load of roots. Easily down. Hey! Well done. And this uh, little trail takes us down to the uh, first reasonable size uh, jump, which is a uh, test of the suspension setup. The can has only been run. This trail is much more about uh, weaving in and out of uh, Quite a tight little trail, a little bit of a climb here. This one can be a bit iffy as well in the wet, but in the dry it's reasonably easy. So I've done about uh, 60 miles cross-country type uh, riding on uh, this bike to set it up. Um, as I said before, it's the first time uh, taking it in the forest where we've got some drops and jumps and some climbs etc. Ken has only done one uh, This is another trail with uh, uh, a log jump at the uh, at the end, so uh, a second a second real test of uh, if the suspension is uh, set up reasonably well for these sorts of things. Just if. Mm -hmm. 
Right, this is the beginning of a uh, uh, a trail that has um, yep. a decent climb on it, and then goes into uh, uh, a nice downhill section with uh, a couple of drops and berms, and a good jump at the end. Nothing wrong with the climbing ability of that uh, private is. You can see cle uh, Ken clears this. Um, oh, I fall full foul of a, a route there uh, and divert around the side of the hill instead, as you'll see in a minute. Oh, don't make. I failed. Oh, Good. Right. Mm, you go then. Lead on, McDuff. So this is the beginning of the downhill section. It's got uh, a few berms, a couple of drops, a reasonable size jump at the uh, bottom, which in these dry conditions we should be able to hit with a reasonable amount of speed. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a gap jump actually, so. Uh, it does need some speed, otherwise you...
Yeah. <coughs> there are two large bangs on the way down there. Yeah. Tire pops. <laughs> Tires are still up. Yeah, <coughs> I don't know what it was. Just to add to the clicking noise, my uh, saddle has come a little bit loose now. It's uh, starting to creak quite mad. Um, easily sorted out when I got back. I didn't bother on the, uh, on the actual ride there. And another trail with uh, a right. couple of uh, decent little jumps on them, on it. Uh, first one just after we uh, start off here, and then one right at the end. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> right, go on in, buddy.
hidden behind a bit of bracken. Right, the last uh, bit of um, Daniel Trail. This one is uh, relatively, well, it is easy in these conditions. You can see it's uh, something of a negative camber, so in the wet it can be quite uh, treacherous. Uh, going down the side of uh, Now just one short climb uh, before we get back to the van and a nice cup of coffee. Summary of the day, very successful. My suspension is absolutely spot on, so really pleased with that. Uh, Ken uh, is really pleased with his privateer, just needs to play with 